Um, this is episode 37 of my podcast. I'm hoping everyone did well over the weekend, um, kept safe and everything, um, kept busy over the weekend. Um, we've had a lot of stuff over the weekend. Um, we had the NBL going on as well. So we've got, these are the teams that have made finals and now clinched for this weekend. Um, we've got Perth versus Tasmanian Jack Jumpers at home. Here at home at RSC Arena on Friday night. Best of three. Um, they won of, um, Tassie, Tassie won of the Hawks um, with an easy clean sweep. Um, the Hawks will play against New Zealand Breakers. Um, that'll be today. Um, shout out to Blanchfield. You're playing your 400 games. Um, we loved you as the Wildcat play as well. Um, I hope for the best for you today for your 400 games um, today as well. Um, you guys are playing against New Zealand. I hope you guys get it done for, um, for your team as well. Um, so breakers don't make the, the semis to make into the grand final um, because Perth don't, don't want to play against New Zealand because um, last time we played them here, they played dirty on us. Um, so we would like to see us or Melbourne or the Hawks in the grand final um, so we can have a clean sweep here in Perth. Um, yeah, so we had that over the weekend. Um, we've had um, Pink on Friday night. Um, apparently it was amazing on Friday night. I had friends that went to it on Friday night. Um, yeah, so they did, she did the acrobat on for the So What, um, the last song. Um, yeah, it was pretty amazing. But Saturday I went um, with one of my best friends, Ian. Um, yeah, he brought me dinner. We went out for pizza and all that. Um, we went to a restaurant. I had pizza, chips and beer before we went to the concert and then um, yeah so we went to walk to the stadium um, from where we were and the song list she sang was um, let's get the party started then we had rise your glass for the second one and then we had who knew and then just like a pill and then we had try and then we had what about us uh, and then she had other songs as well and her dancers were doing her her little thing and then they had um, some of her old songs um, Make You Feel My Love um, by Bob Dylan that she wrote the cover for um, and then she wrote Just just Give Me A Reason um, Perfect um, Just Like Fire one of her old songs that probably you won't hear as much and Heartbreak and there was other songs as well too so um, she sang some of her old songs um, her daughter was amazing um, to see her live um, she definitely looks like her mum um, yeah there was one bit where she couldn't remember her song lyrics um, she she even told the audience um, if she had to uh, write songs, she could have wrote Baby Shark and all these other songs that she could um, think of. Um, yeah, it was a really good crowd um, at Optus Stadium. Um, yeah, so that was amazing to see um, her daughter sing with her, um, Coming in Sunshine. Um, everyone sang that song proudly as well. Um, the crowd threw chocolates at her. One of her um, vocal singers um, came out sneakily and snuck some chocolate in on the stage. Um, she um, loved the Tim Tams apparently. Um, she's a Tim Tams favourite girl. Um, she loves coming to Perth. Um, yeah, she always loves coming here. Um, and we had Tone and I, um, she reckons that Perth was the biggest um, tour that she's ever done, ever. 
and she's never done a big tour like this um when she grew up um she was on a, on the she was on the um doing busking on the on the streets and that's how she started performing and doing all these big events um this is the first time she's ever come to perth and she's loving it here in perth so yeah so it was a great night um sadly that she couldn't do the acrobats on saturday night because of the rain the thunder lightning and the wire that she hanged off that um it could be wet and so she didn't want to risk um doing that and yeah and slipping on that so it could be a little bit wet so she had to cancel it um the as well so when she did so what she um yeah just sang and just kept going on and made everyone entertain as much as she does um yeah so we had the matilda's game last week um the crowd attendance was fifty four thousand one hundred and twenty um for the matilda's game um last week um they won 10 nil um that was on my facebook page um yeah, so it was amazing to see Pink live. Um, the last time I seen her live was 2018 at ROC Arena when she did the old tour, the Fun House. Um, yeah, so that was amazing to see her live at um, Optus AM. Um, I'm hoping she comes back to Perth again. Um, and now we can now look into uh, this weekend for the NBL um, semis now. Um, Wildcats take on Tassie this week. Um, if you don't have your tickets, buy them now because let's fill the stadium up um, to 14,000 um, so we can get our boys over the line. Um, the Perth Lynx made the ninth grand final. Um, they beat it last year's championship at home on our home floor. Um, congratulations to you, Perth Lynx. Um, there were some players there, some of the Frio boys were there, some of the Wildcats boys were there, known as Sean Redditch, Jesse Wagstar, um, Bryce was there, and Sonny Walters is there as well, because he's the number one ticket holder for the Lynx. Um, thank you for, yeah, it was, yeah, so we had that. Um, as well, so they're into the grand final. Um, they're a home floor, we don't know who they're playing against. Um, in the preseason blitz, we had, um, I'll bring it up. Uh, preseason. We had Collingwood beat Richmond by 30. And then we had Melbourne to beat Carlton 38 points at Eichland Park. Um, Giants beat Gold Coast, that was a surprising game. Um, and then we had Brisbane to beat Sydney by 25. Then Geelong we had win by much as 12. That was a very tight toss up kind of game. Um, yeah, they came back of each other and then we don't want to talk about it but Freo we've missed so many players um, I know it's pre-season um, we lost by 39 points against Port over there um, we're going to get redemption on them in round 6 or 5 because um, we've had a couple of injuries out um, we're trying to test out a new players as well um, Eagles lost by a lot um, 67 points against Adelaide in Adelaide Oval, 117 to 50. Um, I watched the, before I went to the pink, I watched the Hawthorne and Bulldogs. Um, Hawthorne are pretty much grow, um, growing as a new team. Um, they've got some new players, um, as well as Sam Mitchell's trying to get to the routine of when they were winning um, before um, Bulldogs, they were too good on the outside of the end. Um, Roy Lobb kicked his first goal, pre-season blitz. 
Um, they won 119 to 62, uh, 57 points in Tassie. And then sadly, um, yeah, I wasn't watching this one, but I saw the highlight bit of it. Um, St Kilda won by 19 points, 80, 84 to 65. Um, North Melbourne are pretty much the same boat as um, Hawthorne. They're just rebuilding. Um, they're trying to test out the new players, who they got. Um, they got Zach Fisher as well from Carlton. So they're trying to rebuild that um, ministry for uh, round one. And that's just around the corner. Um, yeah, so we've got that. That's pre-season done. Um, round one is more likely it's going to be on the 7th this week. Um, Freo and West Coast are going to buy uh, for the open round. So Thursday night we've got Sydney versus Melbourne. Um, and then we've got that at SCG. Um, we've got Friday night we've got Brisbane Lions versus Carlton. Um, Brisbane are favourites over Carlton. Sydney are um, clearly favourites over Melbourne. Um, Gold Coast uh, favourites over Richmond because it's evenly it's at Gold Coast um, ground on Saturday. Then Collingwood are, are not not really actually favourites um, against the Giants. Giants are favourites a dollar sixty eight on Saturday. Um, they're at Sydney, so Collingwood won't be favourites for that game. Um, and then round one for the actual season. Um, 14th of, of March, um, that's when the actual real season begins. Um, Carlton versus Richmond at the MCG. Collingwood, uh, the reigning premiers versus Sydney Swans um, on the 15th. And then we've got Essendon versus Hawthorne at the MCG. And then we've got North Melbourne and Giants. Then we've got Geelong in Geelong playing against St Kilda. Then we've got Adelaide versus Gold Coast Suns on on Saturday night. And then Sunday morning we've got Melbourne versus Bulldogs. Um, and then we've got Port versus West Coast. Evenly Port are favourites now. Um, they won't have Sam Powell Pepper in that team because um, of that whack in the preseason. Um, Eagles are pretty much rebuilding. Um, they're nine dollars fifty, and we've got Brisbane. So, and we're not really favourites for that one. So, two Brano medalists gone. Back to that, um, to to fight it out. Um, Fife is strong enough. Then um, Lockie Neal, um, yeah, he's been training a lot. Um, Fife, so um, Lockie Neal, best of luck for you. Um, you guys are gonna lose against us um, Sunday at 3:50 our time um, at Optus Stadium. Um, yeah, so. That's going to be a crack of a game. Um, yeah, so we've got that Western Force loss over the weekend against the Rebels. Um, they're rebuilding. They've got a new um, team. Uh, they've got a new coach. Um, they've got new um, assistant coaches. I think they might have a new manager as well. Um, they're just rebuilding for um, this season. Um, so they can make finals. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, make sure everyone buys your tickets this Friday. Um, it's going to be loud this Friday. Let's sell the stadium out. And let's get these boys over the line so we can um, go to the grand final and and wait for the winner um, between um, for the other games. Um, yeah, so... Let's bring on finals. Um, yeah, I'll be talking about it um, coming Thursday as well about the the pre-game for the Wildcats and Tassie. Who's in and who's out? Um, I think Tassie might have an injury that might be 
without a player. Um, John really said that um, Bryce is going to play minutes for us as well. Um, he's okay to play this Friday. Um, I didn't watch the last conference with him, with John really. Um, yeah, so it's looking really shapely to us to win the championship this year. Um, if now Sydney's are out of the finals now. Um, yeah, so best of luck the Hawks and New Zealand. Um, let's hopefully we get a result and see who Melbourne will play in the semis. Um, I don't know if they get a home final in the semis or not. Um, best of luck. And yeah, let's bring on finals and the championship um, decider. And let's go Wildcats and let's go Bryce.